Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about the same the output of the second order system whenever zeta value is 0 and 1. So for that purpose, directly we will consider the characteristic equation that is s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square is the characteristics equation. So here zeta has some value. Zeta must be included in the characteristics equation. So in order to find out the poles, so you have to compare with the equation. That equation is x square plus bx plus c is equals to 0. So from this what is x value? x value we can write minus b plus r minus under root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. So use that equation, use the solution and we will write the number of poles. Here what is a? a value is the 1. What is b? b value is the 2 zeta omega n. What is c? c is omega n square. Right? So, now we will find out s value, poles. So, directly we can write to find out the poles. Poles, I will take it as one pole is s1, another pole is s2. Just substitute in this equation. What is b here? b is minus 2 zeta omega n plus r minus under root of what is b square? b square means 4 zeta square omega n square minus 4 a is 1 c is omega n square by 2a. 2a is 2 into 1. Okay. So here just in order to get plus j and minus a just common here minus 4 you should common here minus 4 you should common here so we will get minus 2 zeta omega n plus or minus so if you common the minus 4 from here what is the remaining term the remaining term is omega n square zeta square omega n square by again divided by 2 so I can write this minus with j square then you will common the remaining term is 4j square so if you common 2 so under root of 4j square will become 2j 2j and omega n also available here I will common omega n square also so finally I can write like this minus 2 zeta omega n plus or minus 1j is available 1 2 is available and 1 omega n is available and under root of the remaining part is 1 minus zeta square why in this omega n square is available omega n square is available minus c is nothing but j square 4 is nothing but 2 divided by the whole term is divided by 2 so if you in this 2 will be cancelled 2 will be cancelled the remaining value is the final value is zeta omega n plus or minus j omega n under root 1 minus zeta square 1 minus zeta square these are the poles s1 pole as well as s2 pole so from this we can get two poles the pole 1 s1 equal minus zeta omega n plus j omega n root of 1 minus zeta square this is the pole 1 what is pole 2 apply the minus here pole 2 is minus j omega n minus j omega n under root of 
1 minus zeta square so these are the two poles so this is the s1 pole and the second one is the s2 pole two poles are we are getting finally this is the s1 pole and this is the s2 pole so here so by taking zeta value between 0 and 1 we are getting two poles from these two poles we will introduce a new terms the first term is the time constant we will introduce a first term is time constant how we will get the time constant is the time constant value is minus 1 by real part of poles so by doing minus 1 by real part of poles first what are the poles this is the one pole and this is the second pole what is the real part in this common minus j omega n and minus j omega n is the real part so do this we will get minus 1 by minus zeta omega n so wh how we will, what you will get minus minus will be cancelled the time constant you will get value is 1 by zeta omega n zeta omega n so one one new term will be coming into the system and we can find out the another term that is damped frequency the another term is the damped frequency so here the damped frequency is directly we can write represents with the wd d is damped and here is the damped frequency that is we can write wd equal to this is the negative part we can we can take it is the negative part that is omega n into root of 1 minus zeta square 1 minus zeta square yes What is this damper frequency means? Damper frequency has some character that is it doesn't doesn't have continuous oscillation. We can write two points will not continuous oscillation. It doesn't have the continuous oscillation. Natural frequency has the continuous oscillations. Okay. It will damp or oscillations will die out. The, the meaning it says it will damp. Damped means die out or the oscillations will die out after some time the oscillations will die out so that is the importance of damper frequency natural frequency means it continuously natural frequency means it have continuous oscillations like this but damped frequency is like this so it will start and the oscillations will be decreases to like this so this is the importance of two terms one is the time constant another one is the damped frequency okay so if we are applying the for the second order system at the condition of zeta between 0 and 1 then the output waveforms is like this if impulse is the input then the output will be varies like this the output is uh, starts from here if you start from here for example then the oscillations will be decreases after some time it will become zero right this is for we can where it becomes zero we can assume at t becomes infinite oscillations are zero just we assume we assume that oscillations are zero for example if we are applying signal is unit step then the output waveform is like this 
the output waveform oscillations will get like this so after time after some time it will become oscillations will become zero if ramp signal is applied to the system then it is also initially it has the big oscillations oscillations are more after some time the oscillations will be decreases oscillations will be decreases like this same thing so if the parabola signal is there then the oscillations initially is very big oscillations and after some time the oscillations will magnitudes will be decreases like this okay but in case of zeta zero condition that time there is no decrement in oscillations but here the oscillations will have damped oscillations damped oscillations means after some times the oscillations will be decreases after some time the oscillations will be decreases and here the most important thing is we have to note one point here by observing the diagram that note is when 0 less than zeta less than 1 when 0 less than zeta less than 1 the poles are in generally poles always are in left hand side the most important thing is in this condition poles in left hand side the whenever poles in the left hand side generally these poles are and left hand side not only the left hand side but also these poles are complex conjugate poles so complex conjugate poles that means it poles have complex conjugate poles so that's why the system response will the system response will decrease response will be exponentially decay exponentially decreases decay oscillations exponentially decay oscillations and that's why it is called under damped oscillations so that's why it is called under damped oscillations or under damped system so under damped system so whenever you are using zeta between 0 and 1 that time the second order system consisting of the system is called under damped system the poles is complex conjugate poles means if you look at the poles complex conjugate means one pole is plus j another pole is minus j so how we can uh, if you draw a diagram then you will understand easily so take a s-plane here the s-plane in this s-plane so minus zeta omega n means somewhere here why we are taking the minus zeta omega n because it is minus zeta omega n plus j into some term you can take minus a plus b here also minus a minus jb so this is plus jb and this is the minus jb so i can write like this by using that so i will take this i will assume this is the minus a point and somewhere here this is the minus jb point so this is the plus jb point okay and here we have the minus jb point then we have the pole 1 here another one is the pole 2 here so this is called s1 i will take this is we will take the s2 pole so you can take this is the first second pole and this is the first pole 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 is always represented with this into mark okay what is a here a here minus zeta omega n what is b here b here omega n into root of 1 minus zeta square yes so poles representation is like this so this representation is called the complex conjugate poles complex conjugate poles so whenever zeta value is in between 0 and 1 the system is under damped system 
and it has the complex conjugate poles and the output waveform sees look like this the output waveform sees look like this so i hope all of you understand the session thank you